Hey guys and welcome to the Gone To series. In the earlier tutorials, we talked about concepts and demo of SOAP and RESTful web services and went through a tutorial on how to test SOAP web services using SOAP UI. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to test RESTful web services using REST Client UI. REST Client UI is one of the very popular tools that we use to test RESTful web services in the development environment. Before you use this tool, download it from this website. After downloading, double click on the jar to run it and then you will see a graphical interface like this. The UI for the tool is very simple to use. It is divided into two sections. The top portion has the HTTP request details and the bottom portion has the HTTP response details. In this demo, I'm going to test the university RESTful web services that we developed in the demo for RESTful web services. University RESTful web services has two GET methods and one PUT method. First GET method is to get response in the HTML format and the second GET method is to get the response in the plain text. If PUT method is called then web services will update the student's information for the student's role number passed by the client as a parameter in the URL. So let's start. This is the HTTP URL to test the RESTful web services. Put the URL here and let's call the get method first which sends back the response in the HTML format. Since we are going to call get method choose get from here and go to the header tab and add a key value pair except equals text HTML. This would make sure that we are calling the get method which sends back the response in the HTML format. Run the request from the tool. We got the response back from the rest full web services and clearly we can see that the response is in the HTML format. Similarly, if you would want to get response in plain text, just delete this key value pair and add another key value pair except equals text plain. And this will call the get method which sends back the response in the plain text format. In the next lesson, we'll see how to create a method in the RESTful web services which accepts multiple parameters in the HTTP URL.